guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today we're finally here with my Bridgerton trailer reaction. I still have not watched this trailer. It is Tuesday that I'm filming this, the 22nd. I'm going to post this on the 23rd, and the trailer came out last Monday, I think. So I'm behind, and I haven't watched it yet because I wanted to film a reaction, but I had school all last week, so whenever I got home, I just couldn't have time to do this, and then it got dark out, and I was like, I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to do it today, and I'm very excited, though I will say... If you've been on Twitter recently, there was a lovely review in Vanity Fair for Bridgerton, and the title is Shonda Rhimes Bridgerton is Delightful Trash. Um, <laughs> okay, and then, like, this person tweeted, actually, like, proud of their article, saying, Bridgerton is delightful trash, diehard Austinites beware, but I ended up quite on board. So, it also says, the first Shondaland show for Netflix is Frothy Silly Escapism. Perfect Christmas offering for a craptastic year. And so many things about just the title and the subtitle for this article rubbed me the wrong way. She enjoyed it, but she's calling it silly, frothy, and trash. And can we please get away from calling romance trash like it's a good thing? It just makes me so angry. So angry. The first whole paragraph is them comparing Bridgerton to Jane Austen. And I'm like, Jane Austen was contemporary for her time. And there's an entire genre of Regency and Victorian literature that is not Jane Austen. That is completely different from Jane Austen. Jane Austen is like, they brushed hands. And that was the sexual tension. Like, there is so much more to historical romance than Jane Austen. As a Jane Austen stan, my dog's name is Darcy. I love Jane Austen, but historical romance is way beyond Jane Austen. And this whole article made me very, very annoyed about how they just kept on calling it trash. Like, it's a good thing. Like, stop calling romance trash, please. Anyways, I'll get off my soapbox. You guys, I'm not even preaching to the correct audience because you guys all know and understand what I'm saying. But let's go and find this <sighs> trailer. It is three minutes long, so... Oh, oh, it's already started. Okay. Let me screen record, and we'll watch it. All is fair in love and war. Miss Daphne Bridgerton. <sighs> you have no idea what it is to have one's entire life reduced to a single moment. The time has come for the social season. Tighter! She to breathe, Mama! What was Penelope? Their costumes. This is what they have been trained for since birth. Which young ladies might succeed at security? The costumes? Gorgeous. Ever since I was a schoolboy and you were. Oh, but I This is my sister. Duke. I don't recognize him anymore. Mmm, it's gonna be so good. Oh my gosh. There has not been a single betrothal yet. I wish to be entertained. We find ourselves seated beside each other. I would like to think you help me about that. It would be better if you refrained from thinking about me at all. I'm aware of your reputation. I'm anything but interested in you. And I am anything interested in you. Must our only options be to squawk and settle or to never leave the nets? What if I want to fly? It's Eloise and Penelope. Lady Whistledown has all but declared me ineligible. Whistledown? 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 If I am unable to find a husband, I shall be ruined. Perhaps there is an answer. We could pretend to form an attachment. Hearing like that would be most enchanting indeed. Every presumptuous mother in town will leave me alone and every suitor will be looking at you. <laughs> Into my eyes. If this is to work, you must appear madly in love. The Duke truly has put your head in a spin. Is it awful that I'm enjoying it? Dear reader, if there is no scandal, I shall uncover it. It is more than just your honor at stake. You think that just because I'm a woman, I'm incapable of making my own choices? Not lovely. All of us together. 
That was Violet. Okay. Oh my gosh. So many nods to what happens in the book. We had the pistols, like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have that scene, and the fake dating, and then I don't know if there's gonna be that guy that's, like, wanting to marry Daphne, but we had Anthony, and I'm pretty sure Anthony's mistress, the opera singer, is gonna be in it a lot. The costuming, and the drama, and the gossip with Lady Whistledown. Penelope's in it, which I'm so excited for. We saw Penelope and Eloise, which I cannot wait. I'm excited to see if we get any storylines of any of the other books in this first season, because it seems like it really is just the first book with Daphne and Simon, and so I'd be interested to see if we do, though, get Francesca at all, because I just loved her book so much, but I'm interested to see if we get her courting John I think was his name her husband and if we get I don't know if we'll see Kate at all I don't know I don't know like who we're gonna meet and I'm pretty sure that we do meet Philip's wife I don't know if we meet Philip though because Philip's wife is a cousin of the Bridgertons from Sir, to Sir Philip with love but it's gonna be so good I love 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 how they are fake dating and Simon's amazing but I hate it in that article it said like Simon's only point of his character was his smolder and there was no depth to him and I'm like excuse me ma'am he has depth based on his character in the book based on even what I just saw in the trailer he has a character beyond just his smolder like sure he's very attractive but he's fake dating Daphne he's best friends with her brother there's gonna be a duel like come on but I'm so excited for this I don't even know what else to say. I do know that both Jessen and Jen did a trailer reaction as well, so I'm going to link their videos down below. I haven't watched them yet because I was trying to wait, but just literally the costume and set design of this is beyond amazing. I did see in the review, though, that it's pretty steamy as well, so I'm interested to see because they even showed in a scene, um, it was Simon with another woman, which I don't remember there ever being a scene with him and another woman in the book, so unless they make him more of a rake than he is in the book, I don't remember him being too much of a rake when... In the actual book itself. I know he had a reputation, but that's going to be very interesting. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more scandal going on in the show than there was in the actual books. Maybe because it could be scandalous compared to the 1990s when this was written. So we shall see. Desiree's texting me about how awful that review was. You are right, Desiree, from Genki Reader. It was awful, but I cannot reiterate how excited I am for this show. It comes out on December 25th, and I'm going to watch it with my sister and my mom, maybe my dad. My sister's been reading the books, too. My mother's been keeping up with the read-along, so we are super excited. So let me know if you're excited and what other historical romances you'd love to see adapted, because there are so many that could be adapted after this. Hopefully they do, and they're not all compared to Jane Austen. All right, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know if you're going to be watching on Christmas Day. I can't wait. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.